Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. In this episode, I'll be showing you my most recent project that I'm working on. So I got a message on Facebook about making a trophy design. And basically the guy was looking to have a replica of this Xfinity NASCAR trophy for his league and it would change year to year. Um, so I'll be doing a little time lapse here of myself modeling this trophy and just seeing how it all turns out. So without further ado, let's check it out. So I started modeling this trophy with making the base first and then I was moving on to the curvy flag afterwards. Um, and it, I actually learned that the flag is like meant to be the Xfinity track. That's why it's got that figure eight kind of shape to it. Um, and so then once I started getting the general form down, then I started cutting out the checkered shapes, but it took me a little bit to get the actual form correct because there's a taper into that flag, into the checkered flag. So it was a little bit tricky. I started with uh, modeling a whole bunch of, drawing the, all the curves of the S-shaped figure eight there, and then extruding down and then creating a taper onto it. Um, so, and I forgot to mention, but I'm using Rhino as the software choice for this trophy design here. Uh, it's just a program that I'm very familiar with and have several years experience in, so that's why I chose to do it with this job. Um, so then once I got the shape of the flag down, I added that curb to the top. There were these two bumps there that I wanted to add to give it a little bit more dimension and profile for the flags, for the flag shape there. Um, and I did that by just extruding up and then I offset as well. And then I offset so that it was uh, more, more rounded corners there. Um, so then I just started cutting out some of the checkered shapes there into the flag itself. Cutting out all the checkered shapes onto this flag was probably the most difficult part of this job because I was trying to line up all the different uh, all the different squares and rectangles onto the shape of the flag, and it turned out to be quite tricky. So this is where I started trying a different a couple different methods of how I was going to cut out these shapes, and I, I ended up trying this at first, but then I ended up switching to a different method. By um, first I was Trying to cut them out manually but then I unrolled the surface and then I was able to map out all of the checkers onto that surface and then uh, basically wrap those profiles around and extrude in so then it'd be a little more true to the checker shape and I didn't have to guess at all the different angles so that's kind of where I took the direction of this by using the un unroll of that surface um, so this part was pretty tedious, but it turned out pretty nice, so happy with how it all turned out. Creating the nameplates for the rectangular boxes were pretty easy. I mean, it was as easy as it sounds. I just create a rectangular box and then I rounded the corners. But the harder part was when I uh, actually had to make the curved one where it says champion. So I basically started with the box but then had to bend it around that curve. So that's where it got a little bit trickier.
right, so here's the final result of the NASCAR Xfinity Trophy, and I think I'm pretty stoked with how it all turned out. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. Thanks.